it just might be the most successful con you've never heard of. You pull into a gas station or a grocery store and you're suddenly approached by a sales pitch you just can't turn down. Its victims call it the white van speaker scam. So what, what kind is it? Vanderbach. Vanderbach. And how, how much is it worth normally? $2,500. $2,500. Hell yeah. An exotic sounding name. The thrill of the deal with the feel of taking candy from a baby. And how much would you take for it? I want $700. $700. How about if I give you $250? Oh, you can do better than that. Well, this is something uh, I did not know was going to haunt me decades later, but uh, that's okay. It happened to my buddy David more than 25 years ago, but he remembers it like it was yesterday. And the guy in the van next to me says something along the lines of, hey, we sell speakers. We got to get rid of what we have left in here. Uh, the boss doesn't care what we sell them for as long as we just get rid of them by the end of the day. So you want to get a deal? And, you know, I love a deal. Who doesn't like a deal? Here's a very similar pitch we captured on video nearly a quarter of a century later. That's the main unit. You plug it into the back of your TV. Uh-huh. That looks good. I wouldn't mess with you, bud. <laughs> Before I know it, I'm just kind of in this moment of we got to hurry up and do this. Just 700 bucks for a $2,500 product. And the salesman has the paper that seems to prove it. That's the company I work for, JM Sound, uh -huh. Uh huh. I mean, we do work all over. We're in uh, Tennessee today. We're on our way back to the distribution center. And we, you know, we, if you want these speakers, we need to get over to the ATM, knock this thing out, because we got to go. What David and, and literally I, thousands of innocent victims aren't told is those speakers commonly sell for much less. If you had told me that morning that I would do something like that, I would tell you you were insane and that was not even remotely possible. But I just I just got caught up in this moment. That's right. Um, My normally very savvy friend David the took the bait. I think it was 200 bucks for these speakers. And they had some name that sure looked like a very popular name, but I think was off by a letter or two. And uh, the truth is the speakers did work but they certainly weren't worth what I paid for them.